he's just so much better in terms of like being how prepared he is on, on the character and just knowing, understanding how to punish and how to bring it back. I, just, I was like, I oh, know, yeah, don't like, oh. do this to me. It looks like we're getting, um... Hi. Hi. Hi, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> I landed. <laughs> Debo versus So X, Ness versus Daisy. Ness having the advantage with that, uh, with those disjoints, but you know, Daisy just needs one open up to find some big percent. But with the turn up in hand, it's extra scary. Yeah, and the the top the top tier music, you know, that's that's the I don't know who felt I don't know who chose it. Whoever chose that, I'm asking after, and they said if they won, all right, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Both of them just taking center stage. I like that toad uh, from Soul X to punish the aggression from Debo. So that's something that Soul X actually uses a good amount at uh, our UCI locals. Is that he's been he's very like um, aware of when to use the toad counter on on you, right? He'll use it on you appropriately and like get a punish when you're least expecting it. Yep, it's really good because uh, Peach wants to be a little bit up close to get those big combos. So you're scrapping with her a lot. You're trying to swing, and when you swing, you get hit with a, a toad and uh, Soul X finding the kill there. Yeah, cut, gets the parry onto the Peach Bomber, but unfortunately gets punished with the forward air. That's such a strong hitbox. See right there. That's yep. what I'm, exactly yep. what I'm saying. You're not ready for a, uh, for a Daisy to ever just use counter in that situation. So you just start swinging, and she get, you get punished for it. But uh, Debo calling out the, the jump oh. from, from Soul X and gets the stock there. It's going to be really important for Debo to appropriately punish these uh, float heights from Soul X. And he's just chasing him down with these uppers, sending him into the corner with that. But now Soul X has the stage control, has a turn up in hand. Exactly where Peach wants to be. Yeah, and Debo uh, kind of recognizing like he needs to get in inside of Peach's range a little bit more because uh, or Daisy in this case, like Daisy's range is just probably going to be too much for him to deal with as Ness. So he needs to get in and scrap a little bit more than he probably would have liked. Exactly. And even when you're trying to initiate the scrap game, So X has been countering your aggression. So it's it's just even that that nuance of having like good awareness to use a counter like Toad. It's just, it helps so much with the, the threat of Peach. Back, it, back throw, not, not going to be, be enough. Very good one more, one more is going to take it. Sets him up. PK Thunder, one more. Oh my god. That, he needs uh, to stop air dodging. Yeah. Like his air, he's just getting his, his air dodge caught, but Knight's going out far away enough. And just how much extra credit going to get. With the PK fire yeah. into the Nair is going to seal the stop. Even game here going from uh, starting off here. Yeah, you have to definitely worry about that runoff or uh, short hop on the platform, uh, projectile throw, and now you have uh, both of them playing back to the 0%, the so you're going to see Daisy having the explosive combos, but as I say explosive, Debo finding a 53% oh, no, open up. The okay. he, I thought he caught the float there, but he still had it. He held on to it that whole time. Good awareness from Soul X to realize that, hey, I shouldn't. I know, I know his combo isn't going to kill me. I'm going to hold on to my float and keep my recovery options flexible. I'll be back to the legend. Oh, that jump. 106 is after the hit? It killed. No way. I can't believe that killed at 106 after the hit. He I don't know. He caught the jump. He caught the jump. Oh, he tried to jump from the ledge. Yeah. That's I'm how That's what, That's how he caught it. He caught the jump. So nice jumping from ledge. Got a little bit extra from yeah. the yo-yo charge. Yeah. And just killed him out, just outright. It was so close. I'm trying to think about like the hand motion of dropping ledge float. I'm sure he was holding away just to like try to get a float away. So that could be a, a reason why it yeah. killed so early. But you know, Daisy is a very light character, and Debo, it was an interesting pickup to go for a down smash there, and that was going to net him the stock. Yeah, so I, th I think Solex was doing a good job reacting to the scrap as well. He was kind of scrapping against the Debo very well. Uh, the only problem that I thought was that he wasn't really um, getting the big Peach combos that we were used to, but none of that for now. That's game one. Now he's got to move on to game two, and we got the Bayonetta switch. I didn't think he was going to bring it out, but it's... Bayonetta. Oh. Uh, Bayo, a character that, you know, not as good as the Smash 4 counterpart. I wonder please. how many commentators have said that. But please, please don't be as good as her Smash 4 counterpart. Oh, I know, right? Please. <laughs> no, man. They keep buffing the character. They want her to be somewhat decent. She needs, the thing is, there's a difference between having, making her do the things that she's good at uh. and being Smash 4. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But, but hey, uh, that's neither here nor there, and she, we got the ultimate version right now. And so far, Debo's been making a very good read on these uh, um, offensive witch twists, but getting hit with that uh, forwarder out of shield to punish the dash. Debo's just really fighting the aggression well here. Yeah, that witch so time close. tries to get the combo into the forward smash. He just wants the he just wants, wants the damage there. Yeah, sending him back into the corner. Another PK fire, but trying to go for a 599 dash out of that, get a bat within, and maybe a punish. But now we have Soul X with a forward throw, sending him off the stage. 
Use the guns, air dash through, air dodge through them. Use the PK Thunder, gets him up there. The PK Thunder, PK Fire Ding, it just hits the stage. And now going back to Jesus, the neutral gets the forwarder off the stage. But Bayonetta recovery. Oh, uses the uh, uh, the side B to get, uh, kick him off the ledge there. I really Ooh, like that. I like that weight there. Um, at one thirty three percent at the correct ledge, Jab will be able to kill. As I say that, yep. see, you can you can hire me on Twitter. I'll say that during your match, and you'll find a kill as soon as I bring it up. Yeah, <laughs> Jab killed. I, I I didn't even get to finish the thought. Yeah, Jab. Like, that was, that was one of the craziest changes for Bayonetta. Is the fact that they changed it so her Jab is now a kill a kill threat. Yeah, it's it's it's. It, I don't know. I, I want to say she needed it, but I don't know. I haven't seen like a lot of Bayonetta, so I can't make that decision. But now we see uh, Solex with these big combos. Very good oh, DI from yeah. Evo. Good SDI to get out of it. Yep. That's that's the classic way you got to get out of it. Uh, but Bayo is going to do the Bayo things. Oh wow! Yeah, so Evo's aggression here. He's just challenging every time Soul X is in at the advantage. I'm surprised that he's been challenging so much. All oh, the whist time, the forward smash. I'm oh. surprised he didn't go for up smash right there. I thought yeah, up smash would have been, been the better option. Yeah, I've been thinking that up smash would have worked too. But I think, he, I think he's probably adjusting for the fact that Bla Battlefield has some of the biggest bla blast zones of any stage. Mm -hmm. But like, considering how far the blast zones are from the, the camera zoo, he's just trying to adjust for it. But that back here from the ledge catches um, Dable using the... I don't know what that move is called, but he's magnet? Yeah, the magnet. So he's using the magnet to float in the air and catches it and uh, watches Ooh. it with it, gets Ooh. the punish. Uh, wow, he just bats within through that uh, punish and now getting a punish of his own here. I like that conversion from Debo, but sadly missing the timing there and getting hit with a back air. Now Debo has tied this up. Yeah, he was so unfortunate. He missed two options. The up to the up tilt first time, okay, maybe he just missed time the ledge. But the second option just going whiffing through it, I could not believe it. Yeah, and now we have another combo situation for Sola. Getting a good amount of percent up smash this time, not gonna be able to take it. Yeah, up smash at 95, he just wants to damage. Oh, but, got, oh this is a jump, this, you gotta jump. Oh, this is, this is dangerous. Wow, oh, he's utilizing the all the resources there. Yeah, he needs all of it. He's like, I just get me out of here, man. Using the whist time onto the PK fire, I love that. Yeah, that was really smart, and I was saying that that could work a little bit. Like, I said that earlier that it could work, but going into practice there, it was good for Solex to make the read. Now you have to respect it a little bit more. Oh, I thought we were going to see an up smash. Yeah. Oh, oh with the snipe! Oh, oh not, not enough to enough. kill. Oh, wow. Oh, try to get the read there. Jab will the kill here. Yeah. Forwarder from the ledge. Forwarder from the ledge. Forward throw from the ledge, possibly. There's a lot of, there's a lot of options. Which, which time I'll PK fire to set him up? Yep. There's a lot of options. He's gonna wish oh, oh tried to he went for it there. I saw it. Yeah, he tried to do wish time, but the forward air from Ness is gonna cover it. Oh wow, side B mixing up, trying to evade that back air. The scramble situation here. Both of these players, he's in opening. The witch time he shields. What was? It didn't send him into a freeze state. No punish on that cross up dash attack. This is a crazy scramble. Oh, he's just for that jab. Oh, oh, oh but the, the yo yo fell out and he gets it with forward he, smash. He, he fell How? out. He fell out of up smash. Got a forward smash for what was that? He got hit with the tip of the yo-yo and said, "Yo, I'm out of here." I, I, I'm, it's like it's like it's like touching that hot metal. It's like, ah, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I'm like I'm like testing the waters. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he got he just did, touched it like, you know, I'm I'm good. And yeah. then he swings and it's like, take my hand, bro. Yeah. Shake, shake my hand. Shake, shake my hand. That was ridiculous. Like <sighs> that is, there's just so many layers to how like how bad that could have turned out. But in this universe, it decided to. You are not doing this. Are you going Zelda? You are not doing this. Rosa? No, we have a Rosa player in our friend group, but he's not doing it. Duck Hunt? No, he's not. <laughs> I think he's just trying to reset his mental for the next game, probably yeah. just waiting, just like seeing what he wants. Going back to Daisy. Surprisingly, going back to Daisy. I feel like the Daisy was. I think the Daisy was okay, but the Bayo was def like definitely Devo had a lot of more trouble with the Bayonetta, especially think, in the neutral. I think you should just commit. I think that it doesn't matter. You just have to reset your mind and say, my Bayo is going to be my best bet here. We're going to get into it with Bayo. And I like the pick from Soax, the um, rigor to just go through it. Yeah, so I, I think it was. I think it's like either one would have been a fine choice because we saw the Peach in game one, like probably do like do, do okay. It's just like he wasn't getting the strong combos that he wanted. So the Bayonetta lets him be a little bit more free and contest Ness in the air. Whereas like Peach is like, I I'm just gonna control the ground space and do the big combos when when you have leave me an opening. And uh, so far, Debo has been really pushing the envelope on this more horizontal stage of Stadium. Down tilt into the forward smash. Good DI from Solax evading death just a little bit longer. Batch was in going through that. Uh, no get up attack. 
I'm surprised he didn't do the get up attack there because I feel like that would have contested him off the ledge there. Just like, yo, this is my edge, but he just neutral get up. And Devil didn't co and Devil didn't test. What a beautiful setup! Wow, PK fire into drag down forward into up smash. The plethora of multi hits is so scary to go for against a character like Bayonetta, but finding the kill there. Oh, he, he went for it all, all. and oh. he dodged for it. Yep, that's that's the way it goes. He went for the PSI magnet down air extension we've that's, been seeing. Yeah, you that's go. He scary. went. For, he went for all there. Yeah, he wanted. He wanted the kill there. He didn't want anything uh, less. And finding a. He wanted that Twitter clip. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he's, he's on stream. He's yeah, like, he's like, this is this is my moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the clout right now. <laughs> and it's like get. And it's like Twitch chat, get ready. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But now we have Solex. Trying to find some sort of opening in neutral with his burst option. The ledge hang getting punished with a down smash. Which time didn't go through? Are you kidding me? Back air not going to be able to take it. That PK thunder though. Ooh, he went for a scoop up there. Yeah. But that, that was Solax's chance to punish. Gets a little bit more, but gets the landing option with the up smash. He punished the witch time very well there. And now Debo has a fresh stock lead here. But Solex finding a little bit of a combo started here, pushing him into the corner. Yeah, so it looks like the pro it looks like Devil's problem with the Battlefield counter pick was that the, the 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 smaller space just didn't let him play around with how much he would like. Whereas Landon, uh, Soul X would have liked to uh, just scrap a little bit harder. Oh, forwarder from the ledge catching Soul X being a little bit um, dishonest on the ledge now. A four throw. He went for the down air two frame attempt. Okay, Devil's getting a little bit more confident here. He's trying to call him out with uh, the down smash or the up smash. What a wait for the witch time landing on the platform, getting a grab. Yep. Nice roll through. Very, that was a very good punish. Yeah, that was that was the best punish he could get. He got the yep. kill. Back air sending him off stage though. He has to recover against a yo-yo hanging off. No, yeah. one more time. Gets sent him off the other yeah. side. Very good usage of shield. He knew that um, he would go for another upbeat because he had to. He shielded it, waited, and then went for the down smash for the kill.